Hello guys, I tried Blur.cc for 30 days and here's what happened for my project management. So I run my YouTube search channel and I usually uh, think of topics and get them into a program so my creator does know which topics to pick up and he can make the videos. So I used to work with Trello a lot. Now I actually thought like, let's try a new project management tool and that is Blue. This is kind of the board I've made in blue uh, the last 30 days. So, and the main point, you can do a lot in here I found out. Let me show you the main things and after that we will go more in depth into the program. So, this is my instructions on how to make a video. I added this record, so edit description when I add the text, add affiliate in a board. I press, press start. So this is for the creator actually to make the video. So if I add a new creator, so they can actually see what to do. So here are the videos that needs to be done again. Let me show you. Um, I can rename it, but I don't do that right now. And here's the videos that cannot be done. So he could not record these. And this is the August topics. So the topics he has to make, make in August. And create the videos here my September ones so this one's in the making and here this one I'm making right now so let's go over to here so here you have the board up here and we can also go to calendar for example and we can if if we set a date on the board so as you can see right here if I click on here you can see uh, do a date so when does it have to be done so you can add that and then go to the calendar and you can actually sync your calendar with your main calendar. For example, if you use a Google calendar, you can insert this URL and it will automatically paste it in your uh, Google agenda. So that's the easy part about this. I don't have any dates right now. Uh, there's a timeline if you want to see also, but I don't have a date like I said. A database so here you can see everything ordered here's in a list and a map if you have for separate countries you have more things to do or you want to show uh, in which language for example the video has to be made you can uh, click right here uh, let me see oh wait you can manage fields right here at fields for example, here you can choose country and fill that in and that will show on the map. So let's go over this actually for a second. So if I create one, for example, test, click on it, then you can see right here, you can manage fields at description. And I added some manually, so affiliate link I added it in. And here I can type the topic, test topic, for example. So if you want uh, to add a tag, I added for example affiliate done in the making and priority tag. You can create new tags with a color if you want to. And you can also let AI create a tag to your needs. So here you can see you can manage fields so you can drag down and up. You can add more fields, for example URL, currency, phone number. So if you have like a MMA, you can add the phone number and you can also do with automation that it picks up the phone number or email automatically, but I'll show that later. <coughs> so this is what you can do actually. And here you can copy, generate generate an AI summary of this one, of the board, uh, remind me and move and repeat, print, there are a lot of things actually. So that's kind of what to do with the board now the more options you can rename it if you want let's do it on this one rename it but i'm not going to do that you can set the date this is actually with your right mouse click um just to show you you can assign someone to the job so if i have a creator i want to get into the board i can select them here as well and assign them to this board you can add the tag for example affiliate show and if I, for example, make it, uh, you can also set the color if you want and move it. If I do it, for example, have an automation running on the color green, so it goes 
automatically gets the tag done if I do that. And I'll show that later how I do that exactly. Let's turn this off. I'll remove the tag. You can also automate that, but I haven't done that yet. You can copy the record and you can just drag it around where you want it to go. And also with this. It's really easy to do actually. So the record. So that's uh, the record. And here you can see all records. If you completed one, you can click here as mark as complete and will show up and incomplete as well. And you can here you can see everyone that's assigned to your uh, to your board. So for example, the the editor I said. Um, here's the date. If you have a specific date, it has to be done. The text and some filters. I have here you can add for example affiliate link. If it's empty, you can do something with it. So you can add a value if you want to. I'm not going to do that right now. And here are actually the automations. So if you click on this little robot, you can see your automation. So just like I said, when it turns green, it adds the tag done. And this is really easy to do. And this is also why I like this a bit more than Trello, uh, because it's really easy to do and it has more function in there. And I will go over the next function functions as well in uh, a minute. So for example, if you do uh, a new record is created, then you can copy record to project, uh, mark record as incomplete. So the creator knows what to do uh, and so forth. So there are some options. Then we go up to the top. Here are your activity. Here is the records, just the main board. This is actually interesting. So if I type here something like this, or <clears throat> for example, test, and I am with people in this board, they can type uh, simultaneously and you can see what they type and we can see it as well. So that's actually the great part about this. And this is really easy because otherwise you have to do communication like Slack or Discord or Telegram, you probably know it if you're running a company and you want all things at the same place, I think this is the way to go. So also here you have chat. So I made this one, for example, just to show you me, myself and I IDs. So you can add your, um, you can add your ID in here. For now I have added this one, but you can also add people to this and they can type in as well, so you have all the different chats at one spot, so not on separate apps. So that's a good part, in my opinion. Here are docs you can add uh, or create, you can create a doc in here if you want to. You can add files and they can easily download it. You can add some forms, I don't have them at the moment because I don't need them. And this is also interesting, here you can add the people. So as we said, uh, that you could assign someone to the project or to the board. Uh, it's right here, you can add them. And what's great is if I ever created and he just has to make the videos um, and I don't want him to see everything, then I can just select him here as view only, for example. <clears throat> so he, he can only view it and he cannot delete anything. He can just view it or do nothing. If I have an admin, for example, that has to manage my videos I could just add him and he can do everything for me so that's actually uh, I think a great part in this uh, in this project management tool also you can create a custom role if you want to let's skip that for now so that's actually the great part in this project so let's go over some more functions at the moment so this was a project to show you and let's do a new project and show you some templates they have. So use a template you click on and here you have all different templates. So if you're for example in sales, you can click on this template and here it will show what, what it looks like. So you can customize your sale process, customize to do fields. So for example, here you can fill in a contact name, contact email, a mobile and a website. And with the automation, you can even automate it if you want to. 
uh, there are a lot of options in this one so you don't need for example Zapier for it <clears throat> then let's try another template social media content so yeah here you have the to do uh, list down ideas invite your team to collaborate and <clears throat> create a timeline I had not created a timeline but here you can see how it looks like and here you have some more. I will do one more. Let's say personal productivity. So here you can see define your goals, define test priority and set a deadline. So this is also a template. I can it's not showing up for now for some reason, but it should do that if you click on it. Let's do block content then. Okay. So it's loading. But this is for blog content, so organize a product, productive workflow for blog creation, collaborate seamlessly, and stay in track of blog schedules. So here you can see how to use this template, write blogs, invite collaborators, so editors, designers, SEO experts, etc. So that's about how to do a template. Let's add one actually. Let's do personal productivity because we haven't seen that test personal productivity let's create if I go up to here here you can see it's created so you can customize it the way you want but this is just showing you what to do and how to work with it you can even add a checklist if you want to so you can add a checklist done for example and then that's actually really easy to do. So that's how to that's how to add the checklist. And let's for now go over some functions more. Here you have the settings. So if you don't like this automatically created icon and color, you can just click on here on color. It will change the logo color to blue. Wait, let's do red just to show you. And then click on an icon. And now it shows red. Now it shows blue and you have different kinds of. So just the way you like it. You can manage your fields here, convert to template, copy, or have import your and export your CSV. So import this really easy. You can even create a PDF template. I have not done it right now, but you can do so. And what you can also do here is delete the project. So I've just made this as an example. So let's delete it now. And you have to delete me, type it in delete me, and you can delete it, as you can see. So that's how easy it is. Let's now go over a couple more things. Here you have your calendar if you want to. And one thing I still have to show you, you can create a dashboard. Wait, let's use this one for example. You can create a new chart, a stat chart, pie graph, and bar graph. And you can create it with what you want to be in it and it easily creates charts for you so if you are on sales it's really nice because it shows your stats to people or to clients and you can easily show them because it says more than just text so <clears throat> okay let's go to your profile to my uh, here you can change your company if you want to or add one let's go to my profile so here's my profile you can fill in your email, job title, first name, last name, date and time and your time zone if you want to. And here you can customize your application bar, so align to the left, capitalize tabs text, but I do this off and you can even remove the icons if you want to, if that's more easy for you. And to change the interface color, so up here you can just click on red for example green and let's actually show you the dark mode now so if I click on dark mode right here it goes to dark mode but let's do it black this is actually the full ninja mode if you do that it's it's even better than the dark mode because it gets full dark so and if you click here on red this will show up red so it only changed some texture but not all 
let's set it off again get it back to blue so you can create an API if you want to if you want to use it in combination for with Zapier or anything else or a website for example you can create webhooks I've not done that and that's about it and here you can also change the language if you want to so you have different kind of language Portuguese, Romain, uh, Dutch, French, Espanol, so Italiano, so there are a lot of languages as well and here you can add more people and if you're searching for something like a board for example then it just shows up and if you click on it it takes you right to the um, to the record so that's it uh, let's go over the main website now so um, blue.cc is powered by or from startups to enterprise so Heineken, Deloitte, Safety Children, FedEx, International Labour Organization it says it's global reach and here you can see some more uh, fields so what you can do with it I just do not have a lot of things in it but here you can see a full checklist person in charge reference links a lot of the things you can do with it um, right here's some reviews and here you can see the list if you use it correctly you can use it for example here's your sales or SMA you can fill, see it here really good so Amazon unqualified product B does this cost this and this my profit so you can easily cal calculate with it also for dropshipping it's really nice as you can see or e-commerce in general it's flexible there's actually I made a video in March I think and this one is actually uh, when I was new to it so uh, I was also figuring it out with you and now I actually used it and liked it a lot so I kept using it uh, let's compare some things so here you can, can compare plans for example you can click on standard on blue click on business and let's do advanced for Asana and you can even add notion if you want to so here are let me see so here you can compare them really easy these are the costs of everything notion is a bit cheaper but that's I think it's not really a project management tool if I'm not mistaking but you can do less with it that's what I know but here you can see actually the difference so don't judge me on it so here you can see uh, this is blue this click up Asana notion so here are all the differences and uh, if you have any um, any tools you want to get in blue or you miss something in blue you can just contact them through support and they even help you and they trying to create the tool you need and it can take up a couple of months but they are really progressing on this uh, tool and also they do updates like every month what they have done on the timeline and what they are doing and uh, let me see let me go to the pricing and after that to the timeline if I can find it so here's the pricing so there's a seven day free trial without a credit card and it's monthly seven dollar per user if you do yearly you save fourteen dollar per year and it's seventy dollar per user but everything is included so unlimited users all features Unlimited storage, mobile apps, support, email and calls, free for clients and vendors, limited automation, free custom domain, desktop app and assisted onboarding. And if you have non profit if you are a non profit, educational institution, students, teachers and open source projects, you get fifty percent off. I have put a link down in the description if you want to join. It is a affiliate link. Um, so you can just go to the website you join as well. Uh, I would appreciate it if you do it through my link but of course you don't have to so that's about it let me see if I can s see the time uh, the roadmap oh, here it is so here's the roadmap public views here's what they're going to do 
but that's all for the future. So as you can see, if you have any ideas, you can just contact them. So I think that covered it all. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll try to help you out. I really enjoy the project management tool and I am using it now frequently and actually more than my other project management tools. Um, yeah, please leave your opinion below. I'm just curious. Thank you for watching.